Now this is a, a good way to use up all the waste ends of the CDC feathers. Now I've used the tips of these CDC feather, CDC feathers. Uh, as you can see, it's been trimmed at the bottom here. Now I'm making a dubbing out it. It's quite simple. Just pull the fibres out and then just trim it away. Now I prefer to trim it away. It's much easier. I, I don't like the wee curly ends you get when you tear it off. And uh, you know, I've I collect up when I'm tying a lot of flies in this packet. This is all cut in or bottoms that I don't throw away. And I just say keep piling it up. Now you'd be surprised how many flies you can tie with CDC dubbing. Uh, and some wee small sort of dries, merger mayfly patterns. In this case I'm going to be tying some small midge patterns. This is a good pattern right out through the season. I'm going to show you here. Now once you've obviously cut away a few of the fibres, now I do a batch at a time, put these in a wee packet, you can mix it up a wee bit. Now you can blend this in, you can blend, I like to blend it as well. You can always blend in a bit of dubbing just to help bind it, but it works itself. Uh, now the fly I'm going to be tying is this sort of like an, an imprint midge pattern. This here, and please come in a wee bit closer. Now, the type of bodies I like to tie, in this case, here I've got the pearl, got the yellow owl, got the quill body, and I've got a silver ribbed version at the back here. Now, this size I'm tying it now is a size 16, and uh, normally I would fish this fly itself. You could fish it as a, in a team with a couple of other flies, it's up to yourself. But a uh, tapered leader with a nice tippet, and just target the rising fish. So we'll get to tying the fly, but obviously I'll finish this batch first. As I say, just keep cutting away. Doesn't matter what end. I usually come from the tip of the, or well, where the tip used to be towards the back, and then trim away. And uh, you'd be surprised how quickly you you can get a, a bag of dubbing out of this. There we go. Now I'm going to be tying, basically what this is, is a, uh, an emerger midge pattern using the, the dubbing. Now this is just a pearly version, a uh, very basic fly. Um, there's going to be a quilled version, which is just basically a natural peacock quill on the body. Um, there's a the one that I like to use, like a silver rib. Again, this one's got a wee bit of seals for it at the back. But the one I'm going to be tying is the quilled version. I'm going to use a bit of CDC as a wee highlight at the back as well. And it's quite simple to tie. Now what we use is a, I'm using a scrub shape hook size 16. 16s, 14s, even 12s. And yeah, the midge are coming all, they're all different sizes, but I like to fish this fly itself, taper leader, with a nice tippet on it. And uh, now about three, three pound or so. Now thread I'm going to use, for the body, I'm going to use the UTC thread, nice flat thread, and we start just in line with the point of the hook. We start to work our way down. What we do is remove the waste piece, keeping the thread flat as we wind down. It's a good underbody. We've got our strip peacock quill. Now I'm going to tie it in at the base or down the bottom. I want the best of the the well marked part of the quill. So we come up, tie the ends in, nice and tight. Again, get a nice shape in the the body. Then we come up, watch this first turn, to rub that with my nail to get it flat, and then we work our way up. Leave a slight space so the black thread shows through. Cross your thread. Remember, you're ribbing this fly for colour not to hold it together because we're going to basically either can varnish it a couple of times or we can use the UV resin. Now for speed I'm going to use the UV resin. Just a light UV, you don't need much. We drop at the top here. And what I'm going to do is just work it down the body 
rotate the vice, I like to rotate the vice and spread it down. It covers it. I'm not too bothered if I get, don't get right down to the bottom because I'm going to varnish it as well. don't want to lose the shape too much. It's very easy to overdo it. You'll be happy with the shape of the body. You can set the resin. The resin. All the way around. And then we get a refined coat of varnish. This will seal it. Take away any tackiness that's maybe left. All the bait. Then we allow this to dry. And then one obviously ready to go. So just put this into a piece of foam. I'll show you what I've been doing. Uh, I've got a few colours done. So there's my you know, silver at the back. And then we've got the pearl, yellow and the quill which I'm doing at the moment. Now the fly it's quite simple, it really is simple to tie. I'm going to use a, you could use a UTC thread, but I'm going to use the Uni Thread AO in black. Just got a wee bit of wax through it to get it started. First thing I'm going to do is make sure the hook's sitting right so you can see it. It's fine. Just start at the eye. We take away the waste. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tie in a wee tuft. This is a CDC feather I've dyed red. Now I'm going to short point at the back just so that you want it in the top. You want the light to catch this. This is a burst of a red that comes off these in between the hatch. I want it too long. Trim away. Tie it in, nice and tight. Bring a thread to the basically when it's hanging straight, it should be in line with the point of the hook. And that's a small tuff at the back. Now we've got our, our dubbing we formed earlier. Now, the first thing we do before I get to that is to spin the bobbin anti clockwise, which will flatten the thread. And then what I'm going to do is rub my dubbing needle on the, you can see when you rub it on the thread. It actually flattens it out. That means you can get the point in to split it because I'm going to split it and put the CDC in the middle. So then we get the finger between it to hold, keep it open. We get our CDC. So an actual CDC dubbing. Just going to put it in between the thread. I'm not shy with it. Now, just have a quick look. If you're happy with that, then we can spin the bobbin clockwise to tighten it back up. It may take a couple of goes, but it will spin and tighten up. You feel it tightening up in your finger, and then the start the bobbin starts to go. Spring the, the bobbin holder a wee bit closer, and then you spin to make sure. And then what we want to do is basically wind it on like, imagine this being a hackle. So we draw back the fibre and wind one turn in front of the other. Just keep winding down towards the eye. And then until we get to the eye, which is there. Now what I'm going to do here is just put a wee tiny bit of varnish on my thread. And a wet finish. So we come up, go one, two, three, four, slide up, tighten, oops, should be okay. Now what I'm going to do here as well, I'm going to use the hairdryer. I want to take away any of these, or straighten the fibres out a wee bit better and lift them up. So what I'm doing is lifting these fibres up into the air. a lot better. Now you, what you're best to do, you could trim it but I just break it. Just hold the CDC and break the ends. Now keep it long at first. Now you have the option of reducing the size or the, 
the height of this when you got on the water. I mean, you could take it right down to basically say a centimetre from there. And uh, I'll just take it a wee bit further down. Just pinch it away. Now, you're targeting fish with this fly. You're not so much casting it out there and waiting for something to swim by and take it. That's not the way this I prefer to. I prefer to target rising fish with this. So you're more control of the fly. Uh, you can do the same fly for doing the emergency say mayfly patterns. But it's a very simple pattern. You see nothing to it. Uh, just if you want to add a bit of floatant to the CDC, you can. And it will float all day. But that's the... Really all it is is an emerging midge. Uh, with a good print, good, uh, given, it gives a good impression on the water and one I'd certainly recommend and tie it in a few different colour bod just change the body either to a black pearl rib, silver rib you could do the yellow owl which is a, it's a good pattern um, though what I would do with the yellow owl is I would mix the CDC, I put a wee bit of the hair's e dubbing mixed in with it and that will give you the thorax as well as uh, the legs and uh, the wing so there's lots of options you can do, so I hope you enjoyed that.